welcome back. So today I'm going to be talking about foundations. I'm going to be showing you all the foundations that I really love and I know that I can trust. So this is why it's going to be called my ride or die foundations. I do love them for their own reasons so I'll, go, I'll get into that as we go into the video but yeah I hope you guys will like this video. So I'm first going to start off with drugstore foundations and then I'll move on to the high-end ones. Um, I don't have many foundations that I'm going to mention in this video because like I said, these are the foundations that I know that I can absolutely trust. And so the first one obviously is the LA Girl Pro Coverage Foundation. This is in the shade Tan and I absolutely love this. It's, it's definitely on the dewy side. But it's got amazing coverage and it's really nice and yellow like I like it. I think that's that's it really. It's just a really really good foundation for the price as well. I do have full foundation reviews on all of these foundations by the way so I won't go into detail but I'll just mention the main points of why I absolutely love these foundations. Um, but yeah I love it because it's so hydrating, full coverage, dewy, really yellow. It's one of my absolute favourites and if you have like normal to dry skin definitely try it out. Um, and they've got a ton of shades as well, so yeah. The next drugstore foundation is the Milani Conceal and Perfect foundation. I really, really love the formula of this, but because I've gone through, like I've only got a bit left, I feel like it's oxidized a bit in the bottle. Um, so it is a bit darker now. I've been using it with my Body Shop Lightening Drops. And I wanted to get a lighter shade, but it's so pink. So um, I'm gonna, this is obviously gonna be my summer foundation. As I, as we get into summer, my, my skin's gonna get darker. So this would be perfect. But if I use it now, I definitely need to mix it with a lightening thing to kind of make it lighter. But apart from the shade, they've got a, like a, an amazing shade range for everyone. Is that, it's the only thing is, is that they've got a lot of pinky ones. But it's super full coverage, super hydrating, doesn't give me smile lines, it's just really good. And it does feel lightweight, like when I wear this it doesn't feel like heavy or anything, so yeah. If I have to choose, because I get this question all the time, if I had to choose between the two, I think I would have to go with the LA Girl. And I think I'm saying that because the shade's matching me better at the moment. And it actually sits on my skin better at the moment as well. My skin changes throughout the year. Some foundations that I love will work best in like winter and then, then in summer. And then some will work better in summer than winter. Like it changes all the time. So I don't know how this would... I would have to be careful with the Milani one because it's super, super dewy. This one's a bit... You can control it a bit more. So I think I would, I would choose the LA Girl one if I had to choose. If I was going out, I would choose this one rather than this one. So there you go. Then the final drugstore one is the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. This is in the shade 315. I did used to have the 320, which was way too dark for me, but this is like my perfect color. Um, it's a bit on the pinkier side, I would say, but it still works for my skin. Like, you can't really tell that it's too pinky, that this piece of hair is like bugging me. But yeah, it's really hydrating, which I really like. I feel like foundations for my skin need to be hydrating for it to really work. And the coverage is, I would, I would say, medium. Um, I do still have to colour correct with this, but I just feel like it's a really good drugstore foundation. If you're looking for a drugstore foundation, it, this is one. This one's really good. But now on to high-end foundations. I've got three as well. Um, the first one is obviously, like this is my favourite. This was in my Ride or Die video and it's the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation. I'm in the shade Y445. Um, it's what I'm wearing today actually and if you guys want to see a makeup tutorial on this look it will be already up so I'll link it in the info box. But this foundation is so good. I'm not even joking like it's so hydrating, full coverage, it just doesn't look cakey. Um, it's just a really good one. Like it looks like skin as well. Um, and it's really buildable. I'm going to try and get like a darker one so I can kind of bronze with it as well. Um, I got this at IMATS by the way which was like 40% off so I'm going to try and go IMATS this year and get another one. Um, but it's so good and I don't think I even have that much left. Look that's how much I have left. But yeah if I, would rec if I had to recommend a foundation this would be the one. Like this is really good. The next one is the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation. I'm in the shade Tahoe. Every time I wear this foundation my skin looks so good. Um, it's definitely like full, medium full coverage. The shade is a bit, the shade is a bit on the orangey dark side, but it's like, it. I would say this is my foundation, this is my summer colour. I don't know why, if it's because like, I leave so much product, like it goes down and then air gets into it and it oxidises it. I don't know if it's because of that, but it wasn't as dark when I used to use it before. But I still absolutely love it, it still works great for my skin and... Yeah, it's super glowy, super hydrating. It's not actually super glowy. It's 
it's like semi semi glowy not as glowy as like the LA girl for example but still it's super hydrating and works really well and it, it makes your skin look so flawless like doll like and then the final one is the Too Faced Born This Way foundation I got this recently but seriously this foundation makes your skin look so good it doesn't dry you out I think it has coconut water in it I believe I don't know but I just love the fact that it does have that it also does give like good coverage as well uh, I do I feel like I do have to kind of color correct with this sometimes but other than that it's a really good one stays on all day super easy to blend um, if I were to recommend one for like super dry skin, it would be mostly these two. Um, if you have like normal to dry skin, this is good. I have dry skin, normal to dry skin at the moment, um, and it works fine. It doesn't give me dryness ever, so yeah. So those are all my ride or die foundations. If you want to see like more in-depth information about them and like demos and stuff, um, I will link all the these foundation reviews in the info box if you guys want to see that. Please make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and subscribe to my channel if you're new and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys! Don't like his back